Hello, and in this video, we're going to explore some of the considerations of uh, how to deal with geometry when you're working with other people's drawings as well as your own. My name's Greg Benson Shettle uh, from Greytech. This is going to be a follow on from a previous uh, video uh, regarding how to select objects by layer. So I will be using that technique in this uh, example. So here we have two drawings. This is my Rev A drawing. And I've had some work done by a consultant and they have been remapping out uh, some details here uh, for new lines and pipes and what have you. So this is the new system. Uh, this is the existing system. And I wanna replace one with the other. Now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, rename some layers so that when we copy and paste uh, the geometry from one into the other, we'll be able to easily tell them apart. So I'm just going to type LA to quickly get into the layers. And the layers I want to rename uh, is this one here. So I'm going to type in here and put on a little uh, suffix of existing. Bear with me while I do this. That's that one. That one. And that one. Okay, so those are now renamed, so that means we can isolate those later on. Right, so we're going to go over to the consultant's drawing, and I'm going to be uh, selecting objects using the quick select tool, as demonstrated earlier, so I'm going to very quickly do this. Now I've just used the quick select tool, that was the last thing I did. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter <clears throat> and immediately it just restarts. So it makes it very quick to go through this process. Okay, so now I've got everything selected, but I've also got selected some items in the legend area up here as well. So I don't want to be copying that. So when we make any kind of selection, whether you pick it with crossing windows, selective windows, picking it or using the quick select tool, we can always deselect or unselect geometry. So to deselect geometry, we simply hold the shift key down and I can make a selection like this. And now it's no longer selected. So whenever you need to deselect objects from a selection set, hold the shift key down and use any of the selection tools to select those items. So here we have it. I'm going to right click clipboard, copy with base point. This is nice and nearby, easily identifiable. So I'm going to use that as my base point. And then we can pop over to here. And uh, I'm going to go paste and it says specify. Um, where is it? Let's do a zoom extent. So I'm going to use my wheelie mouse. So double click on the wheelie mouse will uh, give me a zoom extent. Well, there it is, but what on earth's going on? It's way too big. Let's find out. I'm just going to do an undo. And another undo. Yep. So that's all good. The details we brought in were way too big. Let's find out why. So we're going to take a look at the units of this drawing. So I'm going to type in units. Okay, here's the problem. Insertion scale. Well, first of all, it's unitless. That's never helpful. Uh, you really need to make sure that your drawings you use, they know what scale they're at. And in this way, you get much better integration uh, when you're inserting elements from other drawings because AutoCAD's smart enough to apply scale factors automatically if you're inserting objects. But in this case, it's something else. 
So let's find out what units this drawing has been drawn in. So I'm going to use my measure tool and measure something over here. And it says 50.950. That indicates to me that this has been drawn in meters. Okay, so let's go back into units. Then set it to meters. Okay. Now let's take a look at the consultant's drawing. What units has he been using? So we'll type in units. And it also is unitless, or as I like to call it, useless. Okay, so what units are these drawn in? Let's measure something and find out. So we'll measure that same thing. Oh look, we've got the same numbers, but the decimal point is in a completely different place. So this one has been drawn in millimeters. Okay, so there's no way of quickly fixing this. It will be a two-step process. So on this occasion, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the scale of the consultant's drawing so that it is also in meters. Now this is going to be a two-step process. Okay, If we go into units, we could indeed change it to meters here, but that's only half the job. It doesn't actually change the size or the scale of the drawing. So keep that in mind. It's always going to be a two-step process. So we need to actually scale it. We're going to use the scale command from the modify panel. You can find the scale command up here or keyboard shortcut SC. It's going to ask us what to scale. We want to scale all of it. So why not type all? And as you can see, everything's selected. Now it's still asking us to select more objects. So we're going to press enter to say we've finished selecting objects. It's going to ask for a base point. So for here, I uh, quite often will just use 0, 0, It's not that critical, although sometimes it can be. It's now going to ask for a scale factor. Okay, so this is in millimeters and I need it in meters. So that means we'll just, it's a thousand. One meter is a thousand millimeters. So we've got three zeros there. So it's three decimal spaces. Okay, so and we need to make it smaller. So we're going to type 0 0.001. And now we press enter. Appears to have disappeared. We'll do a zoom extents. Double click the wheelie mouse. And let's zoom in and remeasure it. Do a sanity check. From here to here. Oh look, it says 51.0. So it's definitely got bigger, it's now reading in meters, although we don't have sufficient information to get the full size there. So we need to make one more change in the units. So we type in units. And here, because we're now drawing in meters, we're going to increase the precision to perhaps uh, three decimal spaces. And in that way, we do OK, we measure it again here. So there we go. It's now 50.950, which is exactly the same measurement as we had in our Rev A drawing. So now we're in a good place that we can do that selection process again and copy and paste it in. So quick select by layer equals OK. Repeat layer equals okay one last time deselect our legend right click 
clipboard, copy and paste, pick a suitable insertion point, a base point, I'll use that one, back to our Rev A, I can turn off those uh, existing layers that we set up. One, two, three. Do a quick paste, control V, and we'll put it in right about there. Boom. And there's our new detail in place at the right size. So this was all about units and scaling. Whenever you get a drawing in, from no matter what the source is, it's always a good idea as a sanity check to so that you know what you're dealing with, type units and see what units that drawing has been drawn in. Often it won't matter what the units are, but it's got to know what it is. Well, I hope that is useful and uh, it helps you out when you get these sort of problem drawings. Uh, my name's Greg Benson-Shettle. Uh, thank you for your time and bye for now.